Hello students, Michael Sanchez, violin teacher here. I want to talk to you guys today about the tailpiece to bridge distance. So a lot of you guys might not know this, but the ideal distance from the bridge to the tailpiece should be 5.5 centimeters. Now the reason why that's important is that what it does is it makes sure that the instrument has good projection. Uh, a lot of times what happens is the distance starts to shrink because the violin gets cold or sort of in not as ideal conditions. So it's really important that you actually stretch the tailpiece. So what I do is take the chin rest off and then there's a little uh, place down here where you can uh, actually tighten the, uh, the chin rest. So it's basically a little, little thing where you twist and make it to where the, the straps of the chin rest kind of get tighter. And those are actually the things that um, end up kind of getting looser. So we want to kind of get those tighter. And once you tighten that, what it's going to do is it's going to stretch the tailpiece. It's going to make the distance between the tailpiece and the bridge farther apart. So right now, the distance I would say between this bridge and tailpiece is probably about, I'd say 4.8 centimeters. So it probably would be more ideal if it was more down here. So that's actually what we do when we set up our instruments. Uh, it's so important. I, I actually was sort of skeptical at first when I first learned about that. Uh, but it's it's really seriously a huge difference. So uh, so yeah, maybe you guys want to take a tape measure and just kind of measure between the um, the bridge and tailpiece and kind of see how far that is. And uh, if it's not as far as 5.5 on a full size violin, uh, then you might want to bring it to a shop to get done, or maybe you can even do it yourself. So yeah, there's so many things that sort of um, are really important as far as setup on a violin. Another thing I kind of want to mention is just that make sure that your bridge is sort of lined up with the notch in the F hole right here. That's, all, that's a really important thing. I see some bridges that are sort of too far up or too far back, so make sure that the bridge is sort of lined up. Uh, might be common sense, but um, make sure that the bridge is not any bit crooked. I see that sometimes. Uh, a lot of times I see bridges that are like almost falling down, so it's really important to, that's sort of straight on, perpendicular to the instrument. Uh, a lot of times what happens is when you're you know tuning with your pegs, the bridge starts to lean just a little bit at a time. So kind of always be watching and looking down at your instrument to kind of see where it's at as far as the bridge. Um, because yeah, if it starts to lean, I, I have, you, <laughs> have you guys raise your hand. Um, some of you guys might actually have it where your bridge is totally snapped off. Uh, that can happen if um, your bridge starts to lean and then eventually the, the sort of um, tightening of the peg just kind of makes it eventually fall down. Uh, it's not a catastrophe. You can easily fix that with uh, um, just putting the bridge back in place. I have a really good video actually on YouTube that sort of explains that. But, uh, but yeah, those are sort of things that are important with setup. So hopefully this helped you guys out today. Uh, we have a great sale going on. Um, I encourage you guys to sort of scroll down and kind of, uh, kind of view the different products and offers that we have going on. Um, if you guys are interested in you know, trying an instrument before you actually commit to purchasing one, we have some really great violins in all different price ranges. Uh, I go personally to NAMM um, twice a year and just really test out you know, so many violins. And, and my goal is always just to have the best quality violins in every price range. Uh, based on the perspective of a teacher and somebody that really cares a lot about you know sound quality Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Please live chat us We have a great team that's uh, here available to help you guys out and I promise you that uh, if you reach out to us We'll answer all your questions and uh, it'll be a great experience for you. Have a great day